How would you love, come on, not on the camera. How would you love to have birds eating right out of your hand like that? Come on. It's not that hard. I'll show you in these few easy steps. Stay tuned. You've got to start by feeding birds. That's the first step. In our area, it's black capped chickadees are the easiest to get to eat out of our hand. And you want to set up a feeder and start giving them what's really their favorite food. So for us, there's two favorite foods. There's black oil sunflower seeds and suet. So I give them both at this feeding station and that's what keeps them coming back and again and again. So that's the first thing. You want to start feeding them. That's the first step. Second step, you want them to get used to your presence. What do I mean? Well, if they're coming to feed, you want them used to you being near the feeder. So that's the really a critical step. Some people figure, hey, I'll just go stand there like this. Yeah, usually, in some cases it does work, but usually it won't work. They're not used to you, they're not used to your presence, and they're not used to you being so close to them, especially while they're feeding. So you want to start by you be near the feeder. How near? Well, start 20, 30 feet away, you know, that's fine. If you see they're coming and you're standing there, that's a really great first step. Chickadees, not difficult. If you're in Europe, it's tits, and you have all kinds of tits in Europe, but they're the same group, they're the same kind, the species as chickadees, and so they'll do the same. So get them to get used to you. You want to start gradually moving closer to the feeder. And how close? You'll know by the birds. If you're standing two meters away, you know, six feet away from the feeder, and they're not coming, that's too close. So it's in stages. This is patience. You're gonna have to develop your patience because, well, the birds are not used to eating out of your hand. So get them used to you by getting closer, closer. It might be a few days, it might be a few weeks until they're used to you being, once you're, once you're arm's length from the feeder and they're coming, you've accomplished them getting used to you moving closer and closer to the feeder. It could take a few days, could take a few weeks. Yeah, it wouldn't usually take more than a few weeks if you do it regularly. So get used to them. That's the second step. Then the third step or the big jump is one, you've got them used to you being arm's length from the feeder. And that's a good one. Then you want to have some seed in your hand and put it at the feeder or right near the feeder. So they'll be coming right now. They, they've gone somewhere else because I didn't fill the feeder. So that's the third trick is before you fill the feeder when it is empty. So this one is completely empty right now. There's nothing left in it. And they're used to this feeder. So now when I come to the feeder with some food, and I did a few minutes ago, and they came right away. It's like, oh, you got food? Uh, oh, you're not filling the feeder. Uh, okay, and they're off doing something else. It's cold out here. It's probably minus 10 right now. So they're not gonna come around or stick around very long if there's no food. They know where there's food naturally around and they're going for that. So when you come, and the feeder is empty and they come to see you and that's the key thing so I like to just call them I can just call them and they'll usually respond usually I said You ever notice the call is the, the name of the bird? Chickadee dee dee.
Here they come. Here you go. So you see, they're used to me, okay. But if you weren't, they weren't used to you, but they see some food, but the only food available is in your hand. One of the tricks, see my thumb, look at my thumb here. That's a trick. And I've learned that works really well, that they are used to seeing, come on. Going for the suet right now. They are used to, if they're, where, where am I supposed to look? They respond to movement. So moving your thumb is like saying, hey, 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 right here, right here. Look, there's food right here. And then they pick up on that. Come on, come on. I know you're used to me. Come on, there, you see? So once you get one coming, it's so much easier. The trick is to get the one. Usually I found once you get one and there's others around, they are watch. Hey, what's uh, Harry doing over there? You know, well, Harry's eating out of his hand. Huh? Well, he got some food there. Maybe I'll take a turn. Come on. So if you've made the big jump and it is a big jump, the first time they come doesn't mean after that they'll come just like really easily. No, it doesn't. But once you make the jump with one, you may need again just to get them used to you. And sometimes I've waited basically till my hands are too cold and it won't work. So then I take the food and I put it in the feeder just to, okay, today it won't work. Then come back another day after they've emptied the feeder and try it again. And again, I told you it'll take some patience. Come on, come on, show them that the patience is rewarded. What was that? You see? So come on, you didn't get it, eh? Come on, I moved my hand. Come on, come on. So you see, now let it get a seed and it's off. So this is what you need to get the stage where, see, cause they're looking in the feeder. They go, hey, the feeder, you're here and the feeder has nothing. Oh, the only place is what's in your hand. That's it. That's the only place right now that they can get some food. Come on, is right in your hand and they will take it. The key I found is if one or two come, then they go, you know what, I'm hungry. I'll have a few and I'll come back a few times. That's good. And reward them. They came, a few came, put some feed, seed in the feeder. That's their reward. They can come and get it easily. They don't have to play your little training tricks. And come on. If you drop some on the ground, they'll prefer picking up the ones on the ground. Here's another trick. If they're a little, see, they're a little hesitant right now. They like to be able to perch. You see, it's perched on the feeder before coming to me. So I'm, I'm near the feeder and I'm near a branch. So plan on giving them a place to perch. Sometimes they much rather land on a branch and not leave the branch. So in the beginning, or it's like I haven't been here for a week. So they're a little, who, who are you? You know, it's a, oh yeah, I kind of remember you. So if they land on this branch, so here's an easy branch for them to land on, and then they can reach right into my hand. So they don't have to land on your hand, you see? That, yeah, that's what I mean. So they prefer to land. So I don't even know they're landing on the branch. And then they reach over and they take it out of my hand. So that's a way to bridge that, that hesitation of actually landing on my hand. And then when you get them used to doing this regularly, hey, it becomes a matter of now what I do is sometimes when I'm walking in the orchard, I'll put seeds on my hat and then they'll come and they'll land on my hat. And then I do it for people who come and hey, they find it really neat. I love to have when we have open days for the farm and members come, 
I'll say to some of the kids, I'll say, here, here, just put some seed in your hand. And they open their hand and the birds come within just a few seconds. The kids are so excited, so excited. I mean, I, I get excited. Not me. Go see him. <laughs> Come on. So you can get birds coming to f people who come as visitors, and that's always a nice treat. I can't say I get blasé about it, because I don't. It is exciting, and it's worth the effort. It will take you some time. It'll take you some determination. And most of all, never, never lose their trust. If they're landing in your hand and you make a quick movement, you're going to get them, they're going to be scared of you. A quick movement is a danger. Oh, here's some red poles too now. Ha, you hear them? Red poles, common red poles. So, oh, here they come. They think there's food. I've never had those come. That would be really neat. The chickadees, yeah, they come. They're, they're regulars. I have, that's my next goal, is to get some of the other species to come and eat out of my hand. But don't ever do a quick movement. That'll scare them. Don't lose their trust. Always, so wanna, always reward them just for coming towards you. So what I do is I usually keep a handful like this of seeds in my pocket. And as I'm walking around the orchard, if they come towards me, and you've seen if you watch the videos often enough, they just come because I have seeds in my pocket and I reward them because I want to strengthen that connection that, you know what, he's not that dangerous. He actually usually has something to eat. And once you've got, so these that I have here, these chickadees, this is at least, I guess, at least the third generation of birds that have been coming. And once you get the birds that are there and they're young coming and the that late summer period when the young start to come, you have to get the young used to it. So they'll come, they'll hesitate, but they see the parents coming to eat and they make the connection and then it becomes generation after generation and really, really well worth the effort of getting them to come. So those are the steps. First, feed them. Second, get them used to your presence and then move that presence closer and closer to a feeder until you can be arm's length away from a feeder. And then when it's empty, have some food so they'll come or they could come or they should come or call them and they will come. Then they'll say, hey, there's no food in the feeder, but there's food in your hand. And that's, that's really, that's really a nice step. That's, see, see what, here, come on, let them see you. And that's a nice step. See, I'm getting, my hands are getting cold now. So normally I would fill the feeder by now, but I just wanted you to share some of that fun. Come on, let them see. There you go. And so it's a reward. It's, it's like, you know what, for your patience and your effort, you get chickadees eating out of your hands. And if you're in Europe, you get tits eating out of your hands. There's birds probably in your country that will do the same. The same steps apply for all birds in all areas that can be trained to come eat out of your hands. It's well worth it. Make the effort. It's fantastic. It's so much fun. Enjoy it. Get out there, get started, and be patient. But it's well worth the effort, trust me. Knowing that I can walk around and I just hold my hand out or I put some seed on my hat. Maybe I'll try that here now. And they'll come and eat. Intrigued? Check out the virtual tour of the permaculture orchard. Have trees already? Pruningcourse.com Subscribe, please! Check out some of the other videos or playlists. There's more to come. Stay tuned. Enjoy it. It's a tr thrill. Thanks for watching. And get those birds eating out of your hand. Bye. It's black chap. Blah.